One of the most common questions that I see when searching about Android-based handhelds like the Retroid Pocket 3, 3 Plus, Logitech G Cloud, or any of the Odin devices is what Android games have controller support? So, in this video, I am going to cover 15 Android games. They all have controller support and play amazing. Hello there, this is Retro Fun Tech. So all the games in this video I have tested on my Retroid Pocket 3 Plus, and that's where the gameplay footage is from. Also, these games are in no particular order. Some are free, some are paid, and some, well, you might have to get a little creative with your Google searching. So here we go. Horizon Chase. Horizon Chase is a cool little racing game. It reminds me of a classic arcade racing game from the 80s or 90s. This game is free, but you can purchase some more features and content in the game. Dead Cells. If you haven't heard of Dead Cells by now, you might be living under a rock. Um, this game is on just about every platform and console currently that I can think of. I'm also not ashamed to say that I own it on various platforms because why not? It's that good. Dead Cells is a 2D side-scrolling roguelike Metrovania game. When you die, you lose all your weapons and upgrades, which sucks, but there are a few things that you can keep. You also generally start back at the beginning of the level. I know, I might have just ruined it for you, but trust me, this is a great game. This is also a paid app for $9, but my recommendation is that if you were to buy one game for your handheld, I would say get Dead Cells, hands down you will not be disappointed. Rocket League Sideswipe. Rocket League Sideswipe is a fun take on the console version of Rocket League. You drive a car and you play soccer. It's just, it's that simple and it's super fun. You score goals in a fast paced two minute game and you customize your cars in the garage. It has a lot of elements from the Bigger Brother game Rocket League and you can still party up with friends and play online games. Brawlhalla! Brawlhalla is a free platform fighting game. It's kind of like Super Smash Brothers without the uh, Nintendo characters. It's definitely fun and something I would recommend checking out. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. For all you Castlevania fans out there, this is a direct port of the classic console game made by Konami. This is a paid app through the Google Play Store. Currently it's at $3. AM2R, another Metroid 2 remake. Yes, you can play Metroid on your Android handheld. It's a fantastic remake, honestly, that is definitely on par with all the original Metroid games. The only downside is that it's not available on the Google Play Store. So remember when I said you had to get creative? Um, you do have to sideload it, but you can easily find it if you do a Google search for the APK. Apple Knight is a cute little action platformer RPG. It has a very fun retro 8-bit look to the game, which I always dig. Also, there are touchscreen controls that you can disable and just use your controller on your handheld. So they will immediately come up, but you can definitely disable them. Um, Apple Knight is free, but you can watch ads or pay for extra content. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Oh, the nostalgia feels. This is a great port of the game. I absolutely love it and grew up on TMNT content. So you can play as any of the turtles. Um, it's free, but you do need a Netflix login. Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. Shovel Knight is a classic action adventure game series with awesome gameplay, memorable characters, and 8-bit retro aesthetics, something that I can definitely get behind. It has a look and sound as if it was released on Sega or Nintendo in the 80s. This is the most expensive game on this list. It's currently at $30, and you have to purchase it through the Amazon App Store. But stay with me here. It's not just one game. It's actually the whole series. You get Shovel Knight, uh, Shovel of Hope, Plague of Shadows, and Spectre of Torment. So you actually get three games all in one, all in that price. Super 
Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is a culmination of everything that fans love about farming RPG life. If you love farming and mining, then you will absolutely get your money's worth. Um, you do have to buy this. It's a paid app through the Google Play Store. It's at $5 currently. Pew Pew. Yes, I'll say it again. Pew Pew. <laughs> it's a great multi-directional shoot 'em up game. It's basically megatons of enemies and many different game modes, everything rolled up into a a smooth retro graphics as you can see um you can win medals you unlock ships and you you know have just tons of fun it's a fun little game that reminds me a lot of asteroids and obviously that's why i threw this on the list vampire survivors vampire survivors is a progressive roguelite bullet hell game you need to survive waves of monsters that are swarming you for 30 minutes or 15 minutes, depending on the stage that you're on. Most failed attempts, you will leave with some currency, some gold that you use to purchase new characters and power ups. And then you will definitely be playing this a lot more. I will warn you, this game is very addictive. It is awesome. <laughs> so much fun. It seems like it's not, but it's super fun. Um, this game also isn't available for the Retroid Pocket 3 or 3 Plus. You do have to sideload the APK, but if you have any of the Odin devices or Logitech G Cloud, you can download it from the Play Store. Asphalt 8 Airborne, another racing game. This is a more realistic looking racing game than Horizon Chase. Still a fun game. I wanted to show off Asphalt 9, but it's not compatible with the Retroid Pocket 3 or 3 Plus devices. But if you have a Logitech G Cloud or any of the Odin devices, you can play Asphalt 9 and download it from the Google Play Store. Minecraft. I don't think I need to give you an introduction of what Minecraft is. Um, but yes, you can play Minecraft on your Android handhelds. Uh, it's a paid app. It's currently at $5. You can get it at the Google Play Store. Um, in my gameplay here, it was working great on my Retroid Pocket 3 Plus with eight chunks. Hollow Knight. Yes, I said Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight is a classically styled 2D action adventure game. It's on pretty much every console out there, just like Dead Cells, and it's just a fantastic game. Um, the caveat is that it, this is another uh, tricky one. You can find a port for it. It's out there in the magical interwebs, just like AM2R. You need to sideload the APK. Um, I can't tell you exactly where to find it, but like I said, search the magical interwebs and you should be able to come across it. So there are a ton of other games out there, but I just wanted to quickly mention that I didn't include either of these games, but you can play both Call of Duty Mobile and Genshin Impact on your handhelds. They do need button mapping software, which you can de either download or it's baked into the handheld already, depending on which device you are using. Also, there is a Google Play Pass in the Google Play Store that you can sign up for monthly. It's $5 a month and you can get a handful of games that I just went over, you can see here on the screen. I do know that I think Minecraft, Dead Cells, Stardew Valley, and maybe Castlevania are on that bucket, so you can definitely pay for that and get those free. All right, so there you have a good 15 games to throw on your Android handheld. I hope this list helped. Uh, feel free to comment below and let me know what handheld you have and what games you're playing. Also, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. That would be super awesome. Now, go have fun and play some games.